Hi, this is Angela Arnold again, and here we are on our South Africa Brazil website that I've just created for you to show you the header graphics. I'm going to show you how to create your subpages now and add pages to your website. You just click on the pages icon there. We have our home page in place, which basically just has our uh, header graphic on it. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to create a new page. I've done this with some of the other lessons, so you may already know. Click the Save button, and now we're going to go to New Page. I'll click New Page, and uh, you'll see the header graphic there, but nothing else. So let's add some elements here. We add the title. Oops, come down some more. Okay, add the title. This is a new page. Uh, if I don't want this page to appear in the um, on the navigation bar, I'll show you what to do. But this one is going to show on the navigation bar. I can drag down a paragraph element, type in some new stuff for the paragraph. Type some sentences here, oops, and make, pretend that's a whole paragraph for me, and I will just publish that out. Okay, well now since this is a new website, oh this is interesting, this is a new website that I've just built for you. This is what will show up when you build your website for the first time. Now if you want to use the subdomain of Weebly, meaning you want to keep it totally free, you just name whatever you want to name it here. So I would name South Africa, Brazil, or whatever I decided to name it here. If I wanted to register a new domain with Weebly, I would name it right here, www.southafricabrazil.com, and then it would take me to a page where I would have to put in my payment information um, because I would have to pay for that new domain. And if I already own a domain, then I click here and I give them the name of my domain and I will later um, direct it to Weebly. And that, like I said, is also a simple process that, uh, that you can easily find out about. Or maybe I'll do a tutorial about that one also. And then I will just click here to continue. But let's close this up because I don't actually want to um, publish this new website. Okay, but that's what I would look like right now. And the one thing I'm going to show you right here, in addition to adding your pages, um, is how to create some subpages that will not show on your web menu, uh, on your navigation bar. So I'm going to collect, do another page. Let's call this new page two. And I, it does, do I want it to show on my navigation? I'm going to say no. Um, but I still want to edit this page, okay? So I'm going to go to edit this page. Now I have a brand new page. It's not showing on the navigation bar, so I'm going to have to set up some links to it. And I'll show you how to set up the links there. But let me just call this new page two and um, show you how to link to it in the next lesson. I'm going to call this new page two, and I'll show you how to link to it. Okay. I'm going to stop right there. I'll do the linking in the next lesson so you don't have to absorb too much information at one time. And I'll see you shortly.